Here is a cage tour of my rat cage. There is Mocha. In this corner we have a water dish. Then back there is a litter box. Right here is a tissue box cover that Mocha is displaying. There is a tunnel. A litter box that's already been used some food, a water bottle, a water bowl. Here's a right side up locker shelf with a toy on top of it. Here's a dig box, Horno Plenty, this dog rope, and there's a bucket here. Or a basket. There's an upside down locker shelf. And this uh, this rope here. It goes over that way. And then there's a bucket back there with a blanket inside. A basket here with mocha inside. Here's a lizard lounger. It's connected to this basket here, which has Bolt inside. Hey, Bolt. And then there's this basket with Calcifer. And I think there might be an Oswald also. And there's this ladder thing bridge. Over there there's a bucket with Wilbur. Here's Bolt again. And there's a sesame tunnel back here. An upside down locker shelf with this bridge. And the bridge goes up to that litter box. So there's a lava ledge, another lava ledge, these two dog toys connected to make uh, like a bridge. There's that tunnel up there. And this ball over here, which is like a dog tug toy or something. Another litter box there. And this basket. Lava ledge. There's Kelsifer. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this basket. There's Wilbur and Oswald. Wilbur and Kelsifer. You can see Mocha has water all over his face because he was just dunking his face in the water. But I will show you what the cage looks like with all of the doors closed. 
So with all the doors closed, this is what the cage looks like. And then you may or may not have noticed um, that there was not a William in this video. That's because uh, I came home from work last night and I noticed that he was limping. Uh, his back, I believe left foot, is swollen. I took him to the vet. The vet said he didn't feel any fractures or breaks or anything. So. Hopefully William will be better in 7 to 10 days. Uh, he is on some pain medicine and anti-inflammatories. But for now, to uh, prevent him from moving around too much and further injuring himself, I have him in this cage over here. He is sleeping in this little hammock. So it's, um, it's very, very minimal stuff. He's probably allowed to move around more than he should be being in this cage, but um, I feel bad putting him in anything smaller. So for now he's here. He's on pain medicine. He gets it once a day. Uh, I think I only have two or three days worth of medicine. But hopefully William will be in the next video because he he really enjoys this cage a lot. Oswald's trying to rearrange some stuff for me. But anyway, that's uh, that's my cage tour and an update on William. Hopefully he will be doing better in time for the next video. See you later.